Hey guys, I'm Louise Lee, an academic intern at Nelson Mandela University's Pharmacy Department and I'm here to give you guys some more information on what it takes to become a pharmacist and why you would want to choose pharmacy as your future career. You're probably familiar with seeing pharmacists when you get your medicine from your local pharmacy. However, pharmacy is a very diverse profession, with pharmacists being involved in every aspect of the medicine supply chain, from drug discovery and manufacturing to dispensing the final product and ensuring that patients get maximum benefit from their medicines. Therefore, as a pharmacist, you can be employed in the pharmaceutical manufacturing industries, government agencies, medical aid providers, public and private hospitals, primary healthcare clinics, community pharmacies, and even in pharmacy education. The BPharm degree is a four-year full-time degree with the department based at the South Campus of Nelson Mandela University. Most of the lectures take place here, with a few lectures being presented on North Campus. The program is integrated with innovative learning and teaching practices. If you choose to do pharmacy at Nelson Mandela University, you will have theory lectures and practicals on campus, as well as doing clinical hospital rounds in the local government hospitals. You will do a fourth year research project and also over the years being involved in work integrated learning programs that will allow you a chance to experience what it is like to work in various sectors of pharmacy. The two things that I enjoyed most during my time as an undergraduate had to be the hospital rounds and work integrated learning programs. It allowed me to not only have a chance to put the work that I've learned into practice, but also gain confidence in my new taught abilities while giving back to the community. The reason why I chose to pursue postgraduate studies had to be because of my fourth year research project. Myself, along with some colleagues, made NSAID metal complexes and looked at whether combining metals with these existing drugs made them better in any way. I'm not going to bore you with the details and I'm not going to lie to you either. It was hard work and maybe even a little bit stressful. But being part of making something new and novel that had the potential to make a difference in somebody else's life leaves you with this indescribable feeling of accomplishment. And that's what I wanted to keep doing, learning how to make new medicines or finding new ways of improving current formulations. This program has been designed to ensure that you get the best training possible in order for you to be fully prepared not only for current roles available in the profession, but also new and emerging roles that might arise in the future. All you need to apply for this amazing program is to achieve the minimum NSC statutory requirements for degree entry, along with an APA score of 410 at least 50% for your home language or language of instruction, at least 60% for mathematics, and at least 60% for physical science. Once you have completed the degree, you are required to complete a year of internship followed by a year of community service in order to register as a pharmacist with the South African Pharmacy Council. Your internship can be completed in either hospital, community, wholesale, pharmaceutical manufacturing industry, or even academia. If you wish to continue with postgraduate studies immediately after finishing your fourth year, like myself, you can apply for a Master's in Pharmacy Academic Internship. If successful, you will remain in the department doing either coursework or research Master's for 18 months to two years. Once you have completed this, you can then apply to do your community service at state hospitals or clinics anywhere in South Africa. You can also do your Master's later after working as a pharmacist. If you are interested in furthering your studies, you can apply for a Master's in Pharmacy, which is a research-based degree, or a Master's in Science, which is more laboratory-based. The department also offers PhD degrees in Pharmacy. More information on postgraduate studies can be found on the departmental website. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this video. I do hope that it helped you make an informed decision for your future studies, and we look forward to welcoming you to the Pharmacy Department at Nelson Mandela University.